Welcome to Living Local with Lori Johannesson. Hi, I'm Lori Johannesson, and today I'm sitting here with Danny Delgado of Guaranteed Rate, and we're going to talk about open houses and why you should do them if you're selling your house and why your realtor should be doing them as well. I've always been doing open houses on all my listings for the purpose of making sure it's very easy for a buyer who is interested in seeing the home an opportunity to not only view the home the first time with their agent, but a second time in the open house. And how I run my open houses is much different than most agents. I'm doing it the first weekend we're live. Um, and then I am hosting it with a lender. And with so much uncertainty in the buyers right now of where interest rates are going, what the fees should be that go alongside of it. It is very important that throughout the whole process of buying a home that you should be properly educated. So mm -hmm. Danny, we did an open house yesterday. Yeah. It was nuts and that, it was one of two open houses that you and your team helped me yeah. um, be there with. And they're, they're crazy. They're yeah. crazy with the number of people that we're getting through the door um, mm -hmm. and having conversations with. I think we had like 30 people. Yes. And about four people per family. <laughs> there were kids doing like the Indie Track 500 around the kitchen and whatnot. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, one of the conversations that I'm having with multiple people, some of them are saying that they have put multiple offers in, four or five homes, and not getting not getting um, accepted. First started last year. We heard that yeah. so many times yesterday. As right. we actually started looking last year. Yep. Some of the conversations. Um, is it a good time to buy right now? The first thing I say is, well, if you wait six months you, or a year, you're going to lose, in that case, like 4% off of a $565,000 property. That's a, a big difference if you just wait, you know. Um, it's better off just paying a little bit over list price in this market and winning versus sitting on the sidelines for a year. That's one conversation. Another conversation we had with multiple people were, um, what are you doing with your buyers to get them their contract accepted? I think um, a, fully, a fully underwritten approval is key because that's basically competing against a cash buyer. All you need to do is an appraisal and the seller needs to order title. That's it. Same, pretty much the same thing as a cash buyer. So getting fully under... Uh, underwritten, a full approval is key right now. And a lot of lenders don't do that. I think they just don't want to spend the processing time getting someone approved on a buyer that potentially may not close because they may not purchase right now. I don't believe in that mindset. I want them done, in, out, and ready to close. So <clears throat> I've been seeing on some of your pre-approvals that have come across mm -hmm. power bid. Yeah. Can you explain what a power yeah. bid is? Because everybody should know that you should be working with a lender who can offer that to you. Right. Um, power bid is the name of our fully underwritten approval. So there's a difference between a regular approval, which is basically I'm looking at their bank statements, their W-2s, their pay stubs, and I'm just issuing an approval. A power bid approval is I'm gathering all that information, I'm sending it to an underwriter, and they're actually approving it as if they were under contract. So for sellers right now, especially this weekend, two listings, multiple offers, very strong offers on every single one. Um, people are offering, once again, appraisal gaps. Um, they're doing as is, escalation clauses. There's so many terms that everybody thought were going to go away, but mm -hmm. we're seeing once again in this market. And having a power bid, again, competing against the cash offer because a seller, ultimately, they just want to get the most money mm -hmm. for their home and know that once we're through the home inspection part of the process that it is going to go smooth. So it is nice and reassuring to have a great lender on your side and one that has a really good relationship in the local market. So thanks again yeah. for being a part of my Living Local, Danny, and always being there for my open houses because it is important that you have two people who are educated on the market and making sure that the open houses run successfully and safely for the sellers. So thanks again. Look forward to hearing from you.
Please remember to follow us on our social media channels as well as livinglocalwithlori.com.